Hey, welcome back. We've got a crazy versus for you guys today. It's Burger King's games going up head to head. These are games you can buy for four bucks with uh, some food. They get them in your Happy Meal. <laughs> and uh, when the Happy Meal's the other guy. I know. But... All right, okay. So we got uh, Big Bumpin' against Pocket Bike Racers against Sneak King. And they're three totally different games. So we thought we'd compare them. How do you think the graphics stack up for these three? Well, for me, I think the one that stands out the most is probably the racer game. Pocket Bike Racer? Pocket Bike Racer, yeah. because um, it has a lot of different variety. You know, you go they get from pretty crazy, yeah. backyards yeah. and the nighttime tracks, and there's a lot of nice parking lot reflections around King. and lights and things like that. Whereas for the bumper car game, they were okay too, and there's nice glossy yeah, effects and everything. Yeah, shinier than Shiny. I thought. Yeah, absolutely. But it's kind of this. There's not the a same, lot of variety. Yeah, it's the same uh, arena type environment. And then you also have the uh, the <laughs> Sneak King environments, which, which are like neighborhoods or sawmills but or the, city streets. But the graphics didn't seem as polished in that one. Maybe well, they're not as they fun to look at. Areas, or yeah. not as fun to look at. And, so. and you're really staring at the creepy king a lot in Sneak King. Now, which, I, look, which is somebody the weird thing is in all three of these games the the menu screens is like live action video I that was cool. of this guy I got it it was cool and it was, was a cool funny cool effect but it was really creepy it was very especially creepy. in sneak King, I know where he's looking the, in people's was, houses and stuff bizarre what is up I don't with know. that I don't know your favorite in the graphics department is pocket bike racer is pocket bike racer I think I'm with you followed by big bumping yeah big bumping same and then uh, sneaking in three how do you think they stacked up in the audio department. Oh, they all suck. They're all about the same, I felt. <laughs> you know, I mean, they had the same kinds of wacky, weird music and sound effects. Sneak King had the creepy, creeping music. I thought my favorite one, though, was the racer in terms of the music because it was a lot more diversified. They had, some, some of them were like different 50s, rock yeah. tunes. There was some 50s stuff. There yeah. was some kind of bluesy jazz stuff in, in some of it as well. Yeah, none of the music in any of the games is that yeah. particularly memorable or good, and the sound effects are kind of minimal. Yeah. I don't really have a favorite. I, I'm giving them a tie. For me, it's it's the racer game uh, out there because I did enjoy the music the most and thought okay. it was the most diversified. All right. Uh, and the other two, I, I give a tie to. All right. Well, gameplay, they're all totally different. Right. But how do you, do you think they, they stood up against well, each other? Well, basically, the big bumper is basically a bumper car game. It's reminding me a lot of that, some of the levels in Fusion Frenzy, yeah, if which you remember. Which is Blitz Games who, who made <laughs> Fusion Frenzy. <laughs> Oops. And every one of these games could have been a mini game in some other Right. Thing. And honestly, they could have all been downloadable or they could have all been on I'm one disc. I'm surprised they don't have them available for download right now. I know. Well, you know? they wanted to get people into the stores. It was very shrewd. And Burger King actually made a couple million dollars off of selling these games. They did really well with this. Sure. So, you know, it is pretty shrewd what they've done here. And for four bucks, it's not too bad of a deal. You know what I'm saying? Well, the the, the gameplay, though, is, you know, basically you got the, the bumper cars is like the levels in Fusion Frenzy, a lot of the, you know, same kind of yep. style. Uh, and the other one, the racer, is basically kart Mario racing, kart. you know, and, and that with one was lousy kind controls of and, and mediocre visuals. Yeah, they're okay yeah. controls. And Sneak King Sneak is... King's just it's weird. exactly like Splinter Cell, except you're what? doling out hamburgers instead of slicing people's throats. I don't know. I don't know <laughs> if I put it on the same level as <laughs> no, Splinter it is Cell. Not but, like, no. but for me, gameplay-wise, I had the most fun with the racer game yep. once again. Yeah, so for me, I thought the gameplay overall, it was the, the best gameplay was in Pocket Bike Racers. Second place, Big Bumping, and third, Sneaking. Right. Absolutely. Same for you? Uh, same for me. So overall, which game did you like the best? Uh, definitely the racer. Pocket Bike Racer? Yep. Yeah, me too. Followed by Bumping and yep. Sneaking Last. Sneaking Last. Okay. What are you going to get Pocket Bike Racer? Uh, for what it is, for four bucks, I mean, it's hard to score these, so, you know, but I'm going to give it a six. Six for me as well. What about Big bumping. That gets the five. I'm gonna give that a five as well. And what are you giving Sneak King? Four. I'm giving that one a four too. There you have it, three Burger King video games. We like Pocket Bike Racer the most, followed by Big Bumpin' and then Sneak King. Today on the show, Tommy and I took a look at Aragon. You can stick bad guys in the eye with an arrow, but this game was totally outclassed by the old Lord of the Rings games. Mobile Suit Gundam Crossfire. Chopping off the robot's arms is sort of fun, but this game is a total embarrassing rush job, and so far it's the worst game you can buy for the PS3. How's that? 
Metal Slug Anthology. There's seven different games to play, but they do get a bit repetitive. In Versus, we looked at three different Burger King games. Big Bumpin', which features bumper cars and cool arenas, but the minigame vibe gets tired pretty quickly. Against Sneak King, this one is very unique, but the stealthy gameplay is not only silly, it's creepy. Against Pocket Bike Racers, this one is the closest to a full-featured kart racing game, but the controls and the weapons are pretty weak. Tommy and I both thought these games are a great idea. We like Pocket Bike Racers the best, followed by Big Bumpin' and then Sneak King. The Rogers Game of the Week is Diddy Kong Racing DS. The new Nintendo controller. <laughs> yeah, what do they call that? Well, I guess you son of a you still have not said it. Wii. I'm not gonna say it's it. for like 10 episodes into reviewing you know Wii what? games. It's not my problem. I can't believe you. I don't, he I don't, hates the name. I mean, Talking about long and hard and uh, the knob on top. It's got a long, hard shaft yeah, and, and it's missing a knob on yeah. the top. <laughs> what?